Here, we'll go through an example of balancing a half reaction in basic solution. We're asked to balance the half reaction H2AlO3- gives Al, taking place in basic solution. We'll start by adding the H2AlO3- to the left side, and Al to the right side. Even when we're balancing a half reaction in basic solution, we still start with the steps for acid solution. We begin by balancing atoms other than hydrogen or oxygen. In this case, the element is aluminum. We have one Al on each side, so aluminum atoms are already balanced. The next step is to balance oxygen atoms. Notice we have three oxygen atoms on the left side. Remember we balance oxygen atoms by adding a water molecule on the right for every excess oxygen atom on the left. So we add three water molecules to the right side. Now we have three oxygen atoms on both sides, so oxygen is balanced. The next step is to balance hydrogen atoms. At this point we have two hydrogens on the left and six hydrogens on the right. In order to get six hydrogens on the left, we need to add four hydrogens to the left side. We do this by adding four H plus ions to the left side. So on the left side we now have a total of two plus four, which is equal to six hydrogens. And we have six hydrogens on both sides, so hydrogen is balanced. The next step is to balance the charge. Looking on the left side, we see that H2AlO3- has an ionic charge of negative 1, and 4H plus has a total ionic charge of positive 4. So the total ionic charge on the left side is negative 1 plus positive 4, which equals positive 3. And on the right side, the total charge is 0 plus 0, which equals 0. In order to balance charge, we must add enough electrons to the more positive side to make the charges equal. Because the charge on the left side is positive 3 and the charge on the right side is 0, we must add 3 electrons to the left side. So we add 3 electrons to the left side. And now the total ionic charge on the left side is negative 1 plus positive 4 plus negative 3, which is equal to 0. So the total charge on the left is equal to the total charge on the right, and the charge is balanced. This half reaction is now balanced in acid solution. But the question asks us to balance this in basic solution. For basic solution, we must get rid of the 4H+. Equations in basic solution cannot have H plus ions in them. In order to change an equation from acid solution to basic solution, we add either this equation, showing water forming H plus and OH minus, or its reverse, showing H plus and OH minus, forming water. We use whichever equation we need to cancel H plus ions out of our equation in the acid solution. N stands for the number of H plus ions that need to be cancelled. Going back to our equation in acid solution, we must cancel out the 4H plus ions on the left side of the equation. So we need to add an equation with 4H plus ions on the right. So we add this reaction with water on the left and H plus and OH minus on the right. Because we need to cancel 4H plus ions, N must be equal to 4. So 4 is the coefficient we use for all three species in this equation. Make sure they all have the same coefficient. When we add these two equations together, we see that 4H plus are on opposite sides, so they can be cancelled. So we'll cancel them, and we're left with this. 
Notice we now have 4H2O on the left side and 3H2O on the right side. We can do something to an equation as long as we do the same thing to both sides. So we can remove 3H2O molecules from both sides. This is called simplifying the equation. This leaves us with no H2O on the right side of the top equation. And 4 minus 3 equals 1 H2O on the left of the lower equation. We'll remove the coefficient 1 because we don't need it. Now we add what's left of these two equations to get our final answer. We start by adding everything on the left side of the arrows. We have 1 H2AlO3 minus, 1 H2O, and 3 electrons on the left side. Now we'll add what we have on the right side. On the right side, we have 1 Al and 4 OH minus. So now we have our finished balance half reaction in basic solution. What we should do now is check this to make sure atoms and charge are balanced. We see that we have a total of 2 plus 2, which equals 4 H's on the left side, and 4 H's on the right side, so hydrogen atoms are balanced. We have 1 Al on both sides, so aluminum atoms are balanced. We have a total of 3 plus 1, which is 4 O's on the left side, and 4 O's on the right side, so oxygen atoms are balanced. Now we'll check the charge. We have a total of negative 1 plus 0 plus negative 3 on the left side. Negative 1, 0, and negative 3 add up to negative 4, which is the total ionic charge on the left side. On the right side, we have 4 times negative 1, which equals negative 4. So charge is balanced. And this is the balanced half reaction for H2AlO3- forming Al in basic solution. Mm -hmm.